Today I'm going to show you how to run Windows 7 in a virtual machine using VirtualBox in Mountain Lion OS X. Now when I was first learning how to do this, there were a bunch of videos on YouTube that were pretty helpful, but they were all like 20 to 30 minutes long. So I'm going to try to make one that's a little more concise and I'm going to go pretty fast. So uh, feel free to pause and rewind or follow me step by step, whatever works for you. First thing you want to do is go to virtualbox.org and click downloads. You can read all the documentation and all the user manuals and everything. But I'm on Mac OS X Mountain Line, so I'm going to click here. It'll download the disk image. It's just like any other program. Um, you open the disk image and install it. Now, the next thing you want to do while that's downloading is you want to Google or you need an ISO file, which is basically a disk image of the operating system. So you can either get that from an install disk that you already have, or you can get one off the internet. It's probably not legal to um, to download one for free, but whatever you do is your business. Um, so go ahead and download one. There's a couple good websites that offer them. Um, so I already have VirtualBox, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. Now the first thing I want to do is click New. Now I'm going to type the name of my operating system, whatever I, or whatever I want this virtual machine to be, so this virtual computer. Um, so it already decided that it's Microsoft Windows and Windows 7 from what I typed. Uh, it's not 64-bit unless you downloaded a 64-bit ISO file. So I'm going to hit continue. And this is the, the amount of RAM that you want your virtual computer or vir virtual machine to have. Um, you never want to exceed more than half of what your real computer has. So I'm going to click about this Mac. I have 8 gigs of RAM. Um, but you might have 4. So 2 gigs is 2048 megabytes and 4 gigs is 4069 megabytes. Um, 2 gigabytes seems to work just fine for everything that I do. So I'm going to leave that there. And I want to create a virtual hard drive. So this is, again, this is a virtual computer that won't have an operating system until I install it. I want to choose VDI because all the others are just for compatibility with other programs. I'm going to hit continue. And I'm going to choose dynamically allocated. Dynamically allocated means that the file will start off at zero megabytes and then grow as I add an operating system uh, files and programs until it reaches a cap amount that I will set in the next step. So I'm going to set it at 20 gigabytes so it'll grow until it reaches 20 gigabytes but if I delete things it won't shrink. A fixed size means that it'll always be a 20 gigabyte file on your hard drive which could just takes up a lot of room. So I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to leave that like it is and I'm going to choose 20 gigabytes. It really again it really all depends on how much memory is on your computer. I'm going to hit create. So now I have Windows 7 virtual machine. And um, I'm going to go to settings. And I'm going to go to system. All this is what I already did. Display. Video memory, you want to turn that up however high um, your computer will go. Uh, I usually leave mine around about there. If you have more than more monitors, um, you can raise that. I'm going to enable 3D acceleration and 2D acceleration. And raise this back up. And go to storage. Leave all that like it is. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Try to make this quick. Um, for network, you can choose bridge adapter, which gives your virtual machine a new IP address. So the internet treats it like a total new computer. Um, here's Wi-Fi. I'll make another one. Um, make it a bridge adapter, and then I'll do Ethernet, so I can just plug my computer straight in the internet. When you actually get into Windows 7, it'll show both of them as Ethernet, but one will be Wi-Fi. Um, ports and shared folders, you don't really need to worry about that. So I'm going to leave that okay. Now you can either double-click or press Start on your virtual machine. So this is like a computer that doesn't have an operating system yet. So now I'm going to choose, this is the CD drive, so if you have a DVD of your operating system, you can go ahead and boot it from there. But now I'm going to choose my ISO file and press start. So what this is going to do 
is it's going to boot Windows from the ISO file. So Windows is going to go ahead and boot. And now you just install it like you normally would. I'll choose English, click Next, Install Now. And it should take quite a few minutes to set up and install. Um, you can click Skip on the product key, and I haven't ever been asked for it again. But um, just go through and install it like you would on your, on your regular computer. So now it's going to take a while to install. So once it installs, it looks like this, and it's Windows 7 running within Mac OS X. So now you can download other files however you want. Um, if you want to download stuff off of a DVD, you will have to click this CD and select your host drive as your DVD drive. And another cool thing you can do is create an alias on your desktop so it's just like um, an icon that will just open this virtual mean machine straight up so you can just double click it and have Windows 7 open uh, hope this was helpful and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future videos please leave them below